welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Amanda Ensing. Welcome to my beauty space. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get sweat proof makeup. When I see those memes of guys saying, take her swimming on the first date, I'm like, try me because my makeup is not gonna budge until I take it off. So pretty much I'm gonna show you how to pass the take her swimming on a first date. In all seriousness, this has been one of the most requested videos of the summer for my channel, so I hope I don't let you guys down today. I did use all drugstore products when it comes to foundation and primer, concealer, powder, because I feel like one of the biggest misconceptions about makeup that I see is that in order for your makeup not to budge, you have to invest in high-end products. I don't believe that, I think that it's BS. You can get amazing products at the drugstore that work just as well. And in some cases, there are drugstore products I own that work so much better than high-end or more expensive products that I own. I will include a few high-end dupes, if you will. So while I'm using a product, I'm gonna show you, okay, if you want to spend more, this product is very similar. So you guys will see that as well. As always, I will link all the products I mentioned down in the description bar. So make sure to check that out. I don't wanna bore you guys, but the feedback I've been getting from you lately is make your videos longer. So I've been making them longer so I made it really in-depth today I hope you guys enjoy take notes do whatever you got to do I mean honestly I'd be really flattered if you wanted to take notes hey do what you got to do we're gonna learn today how to get sweat proof budge proof take her swimming on a first date proof makeup so if you want to see how I got this look makeup's not budging so just keep watching so before you apply your foundation, you wanna make sure you have a good mattifying primer or some kind of primer that's gonna allow your makeup to not budge all day long. Even if your skin isn't oily, even if your skin is more on the dry side, you want a good primer that's gonna be a base for your foundation to latch onto so that it doesn't move throughout the day. When it comes to summer heat, no one's exempt. No matter what kind of skin, oily, dry, normal, the heat can melt off your makeup, so a primer is key. So the primer I'm gonna use today is my NYX Angel Bill. This is my favorite drugstore primer in the entire world. It is amazing. I've used it so, so much on my channel. This is a more affordable version of the Hourglass Mineral Veil, which I actually have here to show you. This is the Hourglass one. If the NYX didn't work for you, try out this one. This one is a lot better, but it's also so much more expensive and I find that this does the exact same job for an affordable price. So all I'm gonna do is shake up the bottle first and then I'm going to apply this to the center of my face because that's where my makeup tends to fade and wear off. I do spread the excess outwards on my face but the main part of my makeup that starts to sweat and melt off is this center part for me, so more of my T-zone. So I'm just gonna take about this much, warm it up between my hands, and I kind of press as I blend it. Now for foundation, this is one of the most asked questions I get on a daily basis is, what's a good foundation for oily skin or what's a good foundation that will not move throughout the heat? Now, I'm gonna show you a drugstore one I'm gonna use in this tutorial, but I'm also gonna show you a high-end option because I know some people just don't like drugstore makeup or some people want something more on the high-end side. So I'm gonna show you both just so I can cater to more people. But today I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. Love this so, so, so much. It's one of my favorite foundations ever. This foundation just melts into the skin and it makes your pores look non-existent like your skin looks so even and beautiful it doesn't get patchy it doesn't get cakey also there's no spf so if you're doing photography or wedding or anything with flash it's not going to give you that white ghost face if you've ever had that happen to you it's most likely because you're using a makeup product that has spf in it i'm using the shade 128 warm nude my bottle is pretty used and abused because i use this a lot now if you're more of a high-end foundation girl estee lauder double wear is the best i stand by this product i've stood by it for years you can literally wear this and then the next day if you sleep in it it is still perfect don't ask me how i know that a lot of late nights in the past where I've worn this and it lasted all night long. I'm gonna be applying this with my Beauty Blender. It's my favorite tool to use for foundation and a little bit of this product goes a really long way and it doesn't feel heavy on the face, which for summertime, we don't want anything that feels super cakey or really heavy. So all I do is bounce this all over the face and once it sets, it is matte, but it's not flat. It gives you a very natural finish and it looks flawless. It is my favorite drugstore foundation. I'm literally out of it. <sighs> I 
On my forehead area, I use as minimal product as possible just because if you're wearing a hat, if your hair is down, when it's hot, anything to do with this area, I just don't want a whole lot of foundation and I feel like I don't need a lot of coverage on that area. So I just use just a little bit on my forehead for color purposes because my face is always a lot lighter than my body, but I don't use a lot of product on my forehead. I use one thin layer of the foundation and you can see without me even setting it, it looks so nice and so natural yet flawless at the same time. And it just evens everything out and it's already matte and I haven't even set it yet. Now I'm gonna move on to concealing and highlighting. So for my concealer, I'm using this. This is L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer with OptiBlur technology. I'm using this shade Light 302. You wanna make sure your concealer is hydrating because your under eye area does not produce perspiration. So you don't want a super dry concealer or it's gonna look scaly, cakey, patchy, but you don't want it too creamy because then it's gonna crease. So it's a very fine line between the two. So today, I'm I'm going to use this one first. I'm just gonna take some on a brush. I have this Vanity Planet concealer brush. So I'm just taking this under the eyes. And this concealer as well goes a really long way with just a little bit of product. I'm just taking the excess on any blemishes I have. When I know I'm gonna be out in the sun, I don't apply too much concealer right here because if you wear sunglasses, it's gonna sit there. The more product, the more it's going to cake. So I'm gonna go into my beauty blender again and blend everything out. I always get random hairs on my face. Am I the only one? You can see without even setting this concealer, it does not crease and it looks so natural. I love it. My favorite setting powder in the entire world is no surprise. If you've watched my videos before, the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder is just the best, the best, the best, the best. If you don't mind spending a little bit more than drugstore, I would say get this because it is phenomenal. However, I do have a drugstore alternative and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I feel like Maybelline is Easily my favorite drugstore brand I find when I do drugstore tutorials, I use mostly Maybelline and a lot of NYX. NYX is probably next, but this is their Fit Me Translucent Setting Powder. This is the shade Fair Light, and this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna bake, starting with the under eye. This powder is so thin and creamy. I'm gonna bake my entire nose because if I'm gonna wear sunglasses, I don't want it to mess up my foundation. That's another question I get asked all the time is how do you prevent those lines from your sunglasses? and don't be afraid to pile it on. Like we're baking all of this. This is where I get the most oily, so I'm like packing it on. I'm also gonna go below my contour and then anywhere else I get oily. So I like to let this set for a couple of minutes at least. So I'll fill in my brows or do my eyes or whatever. But since I've already done my eyes for this tutorial, I'm just gonna let it sit for a couple minutes and then I'll be back on camera and I will dust off all of the excess. I cannot express to you how much better this works than just using a powder and a brush and dabbing it and setting your foundation or your concealer. This is like the heavy duty way to make sure that it's not going to budge all day long. My concealer used to crease all of the time, even using Kat Von D palettes, Anastasia palettes, just taking a brush, like taking a brush like this, dipping in the palette and setting, okay, I would still have little lines underneath of my eyes, Baking is the only way that I am able to prevent that, and this is what has worked for me. I highly recommend baking if you're gonna be out in the heat and you don't want your makeup to move. So now that it's been a couple of minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and dust off all of the excess powder. So now we've locked in our foundation and our concealer, which are the two most important things that you wanna do. Everything else doesn't matter quite as much now that we've done that. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze and highlight and blush. I'm gonna include that in the tutorial, but these are not drugstore products. You can use drugstore products, but I wanted to do drugstore products for mainly the base, everything you need to lock it in. These products don't matter so much because they're just powder products. So I'm gonna bronze with the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. I'm using my Morphe M401, my favorite bronzing brush. I'm just pushing it back into the hairline as well. I'm also gonna add some contour to my nose. I'm also gonna buff out my lower lash line. For my blush, I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Flower Pots. It's a corally blush. 
For my highlight, I'm gonna mix two shades. I'm gonna go in with Laura Geller Gilded Honey and Tarte Stunner. This is a light gold and this is more of a champagne color. I'm gonna mix the two together to get my perfect shade. What this does is gives you an illusion of a hydrated glowing skin without being oily or without having to use any kind of liquids or creams to get that effect. If you have oily skin, you know it's such a struggle because you wanna look dewy but if you use products to make yourself look dewy, you just look oily. I've had oily skin my entire life until I moved here, so I understand the struggle. So using a powder highlight gives you that effect without actually being oily. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush for my nose. And I'm also gonna go on the inner corners of my eyes. You can also bring your highlight right up here, kind of cup your eyes. Kind of like in a letter C, and then it just glows everywhere. It's so nice. The last step to make sure your makeup does not budge is to set it. Now, if you don't have a setting spray, this is going to work really, really well. However, I recommend that you do this step because you wanna ensure 100% your makeup's not gonna move. So you wanna make sure you set it with a setting spray. Urban Decay probably has the widest range of sprays. They have the Slick, All Nighter, all kinds of sprays depending on your skin type. My current favorite is the Glam Glow Glow Setter. I love this so, so, so much. I'm gonna show you how fine the mist is, if you can even see it. I don't even know if you can see it, but it's so fine that it does not disturb or mess up your makeup. This in comparison to MAC Fix Plus, which I love this stuff. I use it for a lot of things. This is great if your skin looks really powdery because it helps take away all of that. However, it does not set your makeup. It's not a makeup setting spray. And when you spray this, it is a lot chunkier. So if you've ever noticed you have like water spots and it can mess up your makeup a little bit. This setting spray has a lot of great ingredients in it. It has a lot of antioxidants, green tea, white tea that help to boost the skin. And Glam Glow is an amazing skin hair brand. I've been using them for years. So that's just something to keep in mind. I just really, really love this product. Oh, it smells so good. The mist is so fine, you don't even feel it. Like sometimes I just keep spraying some like, am I getting it? But it really is, it's just so, so fine. It's the finest and thinnest mist I've seen, which I love that because it doesn't mess up your eye makeup or anything. And your makeup will not budge until you take it off. So here's the final look, you guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Make sure to let me know any questions you have down in the comments. If I forgot anything, or if you have any questions about the products that I use or for your specific skin type, let me know down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you liked it and to hit subscribe if you have not. Until my next tutorial, you guys can always follow me on my other social media platforms if you're not already. I have Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm very active. I do giveaways, random food stuff. I do lifestyle. I do a lot of beauty, but also a lot of like random me talking about random stuff with no makeup on being real day to day. So come say hey and follow me if you are not. I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.